the government is expected to introduce new gambling legislation. This will be the first significant change of laws in the sector since 2005, a year before the first smartphone. I spoke to Charlie Wilson about the importance of the rule changes. Scene and landscape has completely changed in that time. So in the past it used to be that you'd, it'd all be land based, so you'd go somewhere, you'd be around other people, you'd do your gambling and then you'd go home. Whereas now you've got a full access to a whole range of gambling products from your pocket, 24 hours a day, you can do that in any setting. So the previous legislation that was made in 2005, there's no way that that could have anticipated that or that it could the white paper has already been pushed back multiple times, with the key talking points being focused around statutory rather than voluntary levy for gambling firms and affordability checks for gamblers. So with statutory levy, absolutely yes, that's what we should be doing. There's a couple caveats to that though, it's got to be set at the right level, and it's got to be free from industry influence. Um, affordability checks, again, absolutely yes but they have to be set at the right level because harms can still occur when people are spending relatively small amounts on gambling. And then it's a question of, okay, we've done that affordability check. What are we going to do with that? Are we just going to say, oh, you failed this affordability check. Do you still want to place this bet? And that doesn't do anything. Whereas if it's more all-encompassing and we actually put an intervention into place at that point, then that's brilliant. That's what we want.